Hello everyone. Teaching is an art that encompasses a variety of strategy aimed at engaging and facilitating learning in students. Effective teaching strategies not only impart knowledge, but also inspire curiosity. Over the course of teaching, we have used many such strategies. And today I, Lakshmi Pannada, from the Vice Scholars Private School, would like to share my experience on one of them. Please allow me to share my screen. A great way to get your students thinking on their feet is by using a strategy called gallery walk. Instead of sitting on at their desks and answering questions or falling asleep during a lecture, students visit exhibits that help them answer questions in small groups. Today, for this presentation, we will learn about what is gallery walk, why do we use gallery walk as a strategy, teaching strategy, how, do, how to set up the entire gallery walk, some tips I would like to share, and examples which can help you plan your lessons according to your subjects, and assessing this uh, strategy, using this strategy, how we can assess students' learning. So when it comes to what is gallery work, I would say from my personal experiences that some of the best lessons are able to promote lifelong learning, helping students develop multiple skills that can carry them through college, school, college, and beyond. Gallery work is a strategy that is student-centered rather than lecture-based or teacher-led. And it encourages students to interact with the content it offers students the opportunity to get out of their seats, become active learners from creation till evaluation. So why do we use this strategy for teaching is, as I mentioned about the multiple skills that they will be developing, students get the chance to share their opinions on the topic. They debate and investigate the opinions and then they get to compare what they have found with the results of the rest of the class. With the rest of the class, they can uh, they they will have a uh, new shared ideas, new thoughts, and the skills that they will be developing will again and again help and facilitate them learn better with higher order thinking skills and higher order thinking questions, collaboration, and become active active learners. How do we set up? I would say all you need for a gallery work is assign groups and your walls or tables or chairs that is present in your classroom. You can modify the gallery work according to the subjects and the year groups. How exactly it works is you, you, you the students get the chance to share their opinions on a topic and debate and investigate their opinions. So students work in teams to investigate a question posed to them in class. Then each group has, decide, has to decide on an answer that they will write out as a team, or it can be as individual response also, to post at each exhibit. Students will then walk around the room, stopping at each exhibit to consider the argument and evaluate their own research in mind. Uh, during this process, they are just not passively looking at something and moving on, but this whole strategy is helping them interact with each other. Students, while walking around, they have post-its to share and at least two questions or comments that they have on each response. We can also have a representative to explain their response to the classmates and answer the questions of the classmates. It's either way they are contributing to an answer, they are offering feedbacks and considering everyone else's thoughts. I think this is a great way of learning and interacting collaboration. Once done, the teams get back to their own responses. They also reflect based on the new information that they have, which is truly amazing. 
curriculum opportunities i would say this uh, strategy is not only a subject based or subject oriented it can be played uh, you can utilize it with different subjects with different techniques of teaching and assessing them and students will really love the outcome of it they will be more uh, enthusiastic to know and to go around with each and every exhibit with different you know challenges and questions that they'll have you have these different patterns of uh, work that or how you can use i have just listed down here you can check out these tools that you that you, that can help in your subject and few tips that i would like to share is when we are setting up the gallery walk just make uh, sure that you have a timer for the students so that they are not entirely uh, keeping their entire time period in one exhibit they are moving from one exhibit to another so they will have that transition time and they keep running over and they know that there is a time that they have to finish the task in do not move until the station is quiet and it is not like if it is very much crowded at only one station it becomes very difficult so give that transition time to the students give 10 seconds or 20 seconds of transition time let them know that they have to move from one exhibit to another exhibit with their new ideas so they 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 uh, put a full stop at exhibit 1 and then they go to uh, the new exhibit with fresh ideas with fresh thoughts etc with gallery walk, it's very important to get the rid of the distractions in the room. Apart from the tables and the chairs, if there are any, we can clear it out. Uh, if there are too many charts, it becomes very difficult. So you can, you know, have them uh, have your gallery walk exhibits uh, placed on the tables or somewhere where there are not much of distractions and students can concentrate on that. You can also lighten up the students mood with the calm music. And uh, as we are in the 21st century, we use a lot of technology. So this is a very great, um, uh, amazing strategy that we can embed with technology. Yes, students can use Q uh, QR code to scan the use laptops and iPads, and they can complete the activity at each exhibit. Uh, there are these few examples that I have worked on and uh, that has helped me. So here is an example of using gallery work strategy for international trade topic. I can say globalization. So provided is the graphic organizer that students were to respond to as they view each station. Um, they have to add their reflection at the, at the end, connecting the activity for students to make a written conclusion. That is the short response. So these are few other examples that I have added. This is of course, uh, from my perspective and my subject based, you can always play around with your subject and with your content that you have. Assessing the gallery work is also, you can use this strategy to assess your students you can always have a grade uh, uh, through their thoroughness, through their accuracy. And you can provide students with a reflection sheet that includes answering an inquiry-based question where you will have your evidences that how the students have written and what they have understood, what is their perspective, what critical analysis they have done. They can determine, you can determine if the students were accurate in their analysis, they have provided thorough proof and conclusion to validate their conclusion. And uh, you can also provide them rubric beforehand so that students are also aware that how they have to prepare themselves, what are the expectations of them to after the gallery walk, which will be a great tool to assess. So if I have to speak personally, and I do from my experiences, I find this strategy to be very effective for instruction basis. I believe that students should have opportunities to talk with one another when appropriate. 
students need time with their peers to share this to share to discuss and grab new ideas from one another that they already have and they can also reflect on the ones that they have so gallery walk makes social student centered and engaging all items essential for learn this activity makes an ordinary school day as simple as movement based classroom thank you very much i am very very happy to share my thoughts i hope this strategy helps you in your uh, further teaching lessons and the ideas that you can share with your students and the ideas that they come up with will be really amusing for you have a great day thank you